folks, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. It's not Friday, but we're doing Fixed Blade Thursday. Another Fixed Blade tomorrow, too. Because I got so many Fixed Blades that we got to deal with. And I'm sorry I haven't been around very much lately. I've been dealing with major physical issues. I'm getting over them. It's getting better. Let's talk about this knife. This is the F001 by Brother. I did the F002 recently. I like the F001 even better. We've got Micarta Peacock Blue handle scales. <laughs> Peacock Blue. Why didn't they just say black and blue? I don't know. But you've got uh, linen layers of black and uh, blue on the handle scales. We've got copper tubes for the pins to, where they glued them on. Really cool little lanyard option there. I like that an awful lot. We've got a tiny little drop point, full flat grind, 440C stainless steel, some jimping back here, and it's comfortable. Kydex or Kydex equivalent sheath. Very good ed retention in here. Can't hear a thing, can you? Holds very well. Uh, you can pull it like that if you want to, or you can just push off. That's good. You've got a tech lock equivalent holder. That part I don't like. You know me. If you've watched my channel for a while, I much prefer to have sort of a thing where the uh, knife sits a little bit lower down, where the belt is here instead of here, like the belt on your pants. So I don't want this knife to be sitting here because, you know, then I got to reach up like this to pull it out. I'd rather have it sitting here so that I just grab it and pull it out. For me, that's a pretty big deal. But you can take this thing and, no, you can't turn it sideways. These holes don't line up. I might be able to get it to line up with these two. And if I can, I'll show you if I can attach it that way. That way uh, the knife could be put on horizontally. So if that works, that's great. I'll let you know or not. Otherwise, these holes here just aren't lined up uh, to be put you know, with this on a 90 degree angle, but these two might just work. So why don't I put this thing onto my tabletop and we'll take a good quick look at this knife. Stick around. All right, I know some of you are sick of hearing this, but my hands are large, bordering on extra large in the uh, uh, North American styling. Uh, but, you know, that's what it is. That's between 10 and 11 in European sizes. Now, before I get into this, I forgot I wanted to tell you, I've got three new videos over on my other channel. Let me just give you the thumbnails right now, uh, you know, for two or three seconds each. Maybe you want to go watch those videos. I'll have links to each of those below. And I'm going to try to put links to two of them at the very end of this video up here and up here. So you can go watch those. Please take a minute to watch them. Even if you just let it play for, you know, 60 seconds. If you let it go for at least a minute, it counts as a solid view and not just as, you know, this thing on the algorithm, you know, kind of kicks them out. And if you really want to help me out, let the advertisements play because that does help out my channel. Those of you guys who know me know that I live on a disability pension, so every little bit helps me to get more products. I got this from GearBest. I bought this myself, and I like it. I bought it when they were still shipping knives to Canada. Unfortunately, GearBest has decided not to ship knives to Canada. They've been scared off because CBSA jerks have been sending back knives, and consumers have been saying, Hey, GearBest, I want my money back because you didn't send me my knife. It's not GearBest's fault, it's CBSA's fault. So I know everybody wants their money back, but really, you know, it's not GearBest's fault. It is Canadian Border Services Agency. So get on their backs, call your MP, write a letter on a piece of paper and mail it to your MP. There's addresses that you can get at the uh, on a website. I'll put links down below. Donate to that support, uh, to that legal case that we're fighting CBSA with. All kinds of things. Look up all my videos about CBSA. 
that's all I'm going to say in this video. We have to fight for our right to import knives into Canada. Totally legal knives are being disallowed just because somebody decided knives are scary. We can't have knives in our society. And they don't realize that most of the crime with knives is kitchen knives, fixed blade knives, and yet they're stopping folding knives from coming in. Uh, that's enough of that rant. Let's take a look at this knife. It says right there on the Ricasso F001, brother, one, one knife, one life. Does that mean you... No, okay, I won't get into that. <laughs> F001, 440C right there. We've got a nice handle shape, a little bit of a bulge right there, full tang blade, uh, over four millimeters thick, nice micarta, well polished. I like the copper pins there. They look really cool. The lanyard hole is pretty awesome. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Check that out. Really good lanyard option. So uh, it doesn't take up anything on the handle. Nothing's in the way. And it's narrow so that when it's tied on there, it's no bulge or anything. Really, really good idea. I like it when they do it that way. Nice jimping right here. And that, that jimping gives a good grip on your thumb without being too sharp or annoying or anything. Um, you know, you can do this kind of cutting if you want to because it's nice and wide up there. It only starts getting more narrow right there at the tip. So a pretty strong tip that we have right there. And, uh, you know, it's a good, comfortable knife. You know, reverse grip. Let's go back to our... There we go. Reverse grip. Uh, that looks really good. Oh, by the way, on that other videos... I talk about this just a tiny bit, but there's a smaller one, uh, a new Band 3 by Xiaomi that's really good if you want to track your walking and stuff. I know I'm being really, really rabbit trail here right now. My brain is just all over the place. I'm sorry about that, guys. That's what happens when I take a number of days off. So that's the handle. Really comfortable. Works very well. Full flat grind on the blade. Just a bit of a drop point right here. Nice belly. Good flat area. Good for cutting. This is a great, you know, just all round basic outdoor knife. Um, I don't really like the labels of survival knife or bushcraft knife or uh, tactical knife. Or A knife is a knife. You do with it whatever you can. And if it's the only thing you got, it is your everything knife. You know, <laughs> what is this knife best for? Cutting things. <laughs> And it works pretty well. They say it's 440C. I think it probably is, or it's a very close equivalent, uh, Chinese equivalent. This is made in China, and uh, it's it's quite good. Let's uh, give you all the dimensions of this thing. The cutting edge is 10.3 centimeters. That's four inches on the nose. Blade length is 10.5 centimeters. That's 4.14 inches. The blade thickness is 4.1 millimeters. That's 0.1615 inches. The uh, blade depth is 2.54 centimeters, one inch exactly. That's just above the, just that way of the jimping right there in the middle of the cutting area. The thickness of the edge behind the grind right there is exactly half a millimeter. That's 0 0.0195. The grind angle, quite good on one side, 19.5. Quite bad on the other side, 28.4. <laughs> I have uh, done this back to 20 degrees per side, so it took a little bit of grinding on one side, but I got it all done. It was reasonably sharp from the factory, but it does have my grind on it right now. And so I can't demonstrate cutting with it with their edge, so it really doesn't mean that much for me to do a cutting demonstration. Uh, you already know what 440C is like if you've watched my channel for any period of time at all, uh, because of all the videos I've done for Ganzo, which uses 440C. Uh, handle. Handle length 11.5 centimeters, 4.53 inches. Uh, the handle thickness is 1.7 centimeters, that's 0.67 of an inch. Very comfortable actually for my hand size. Uh, the handle depth, that's this dimension, 2.6 centimeters, that's just over an inch. Um, the grip area in here is 9.7 centimeters, 3.82 inches. Good space for your hand in there. Total length of this knife is 22.1 centimeters, 8.7 inches. It's got a good weight to it too. It weighs 169 grams, 5.95 ounces, so it's a six ounce knife. Uh, you add the sheath in, 
and it's 244 grams, 8.55 ounces. Not bad at all. I can't give you a Canadian price while well, I can, but there's no sense in doing it because Gear Best won't ship to Canada. If you've got a friend in the U.S., family members in the U.S., get it shipped to them first and then ship to you. I know it's an extra added expense. That's uh, what I've been doing for all of 2018. And I've had zero knives confiscated by CBSA this entire year for the last 11 months since I started using my sister in Nebraska to send me my knives. Just a hint, I get her to send them to my wife's name. So instead of, so it's my sister sending them to my wife. So two female names on the package. And she usually writes on the package, happy birthday, happy anniversary, you know, whatever kind of thing on there. And she says there's cutlery inside. So totally legal, totally honest. And it always has gotten through so far. I can't guarantee it always will. I have asked around if there's anybody that wants to help out uh, you guys. One person responded, but I just don't want to put that much weight on one guy to hand out his name to a whole bunch of Canadian people. Um, you know, So really do try to find yourself somebody in the States who can help you out. Otherwise, I'm sorry guys, you just have to end up buying knives from Canadian vendors. It's starting to really, really suck. We must fight CBSA. Call your government MP. Um, fit and finish on this. Pretty good. I like it. The fit and finish on the sheath is very good. You know, it's not excellent, but it's very good. I need to drill a tiny little drain hole on the back here because there isn't one on the sheath. But these rivets are done very well, except for I wish they'd be organized a little bit better so I could move this horizontally. Um, I don't like tech lock things, but they're okay. You know, you can move these pins or these uh, around, whatever these things are called, so that you can put your belt in here and it doesn't slip around, you know, whatever size belt you have. If you've got a little half inch belt, well, there you go. You do this and let, get that in there. There we go. And then your half inch belt sits in there and it doesn't, you know, wiggle back and forth. So that's a good idea. It, yeah. And then this extra lock down in these, it holds quite well. It's very functional. I just don't like using this kind of thing. And I might just attach a dangle thing if I keep this. Maybe I'll sell it. Who knows? $20.99 US right now for the next seven days. GearBest has this on sale. It's 19% off. Okay, so that's about a fifth off. Not bad. $21 US for this. I think it's a good deal. Especially this nice micarta, the copper. Yeah, I've already said all that. Nice jimping, good flat grind, great lanyard hole, pins. There's no sharpener's choil. That's my big con on this. I really wish it had a sharpener's choil. I do like those things an awful lot. It's easy enough to put one in. You just get a round file and you just file until you get yourself a little sharpener's choil. And then you don't get what I did right here when I was sharpening it up. I got a little few scrapes right there on the edge of the, the corner there. Yeah, not bad though for a regular good fixed blade knife. Are you in the market for a knife like this? Consider the Brother F001. If you like the look and feel, well, you don't know the feel until you get it, but if you like the look and everything, for the price, for a good budget knife, I recommend it. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are the best. If you want to become a Patreon supporter for $2 a month, uh, that's US dollars. It really helps me out an awful lot to keep this channel going. And your name gets put in a draw for a free knife once a month. One of my guys, and there's 29 supporters right now. So that's pretty good odds to get a free knife. But that's not why you should support me. Um, you know, support me if you want to really support me. And that's just a bonus that you can get. Nice satin finish here. Um, okay, I will show you a little bit of cutting. Not bad, eh? I'll show you some rope. That's some nice, good half-inch rope. Uh, let me get it back here. I don't like wasting a lot of rope here. And, you know, see, cuts through that, no problem. Like it a lot. Remember, guys, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb. <laughs> I almost swore there. <laughs> Bye now.